marinate the swordfish, first we do two tablespoons of olive oil into the bowl, one tablespoon of soy sauce, and one teaspoon of ground cumin, and one teaspoon of smoked paprika. We're also gonna add one teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna mix it up. It already smells so good. We're gonna crush three cloves of garlic into the sauce. And also we're gonna chop three tablespoon of mint leaves. Try to chop it up pretty finely. We got these mint leaves right from the garden. So they smell really fresh. We're also gonna chop up three tablespoons of basil leaves, finely. These also came from the garden. We're gonna add this to the sauce as well. Add the juice from half a lime and then mix it up. We got swordfish steaks over here and we're gonna put them into a Ziploc bag. We're gonna add the marinade, let the air out and then zip it up. Make sure that you spread it around completely. It smells amazing. Be careful not to rip it because it's kind of gentle. You want to marinate it for about 20 minutes before you put it on the grill. Gonna massage it onto the swordfish very gently. We also got some vegetables from our garden that we think will go great with the swordfish. It's a baby eggplant and a bell pepper. So we're gonna cut it open and clean it out. It's very fresh. And also the eggplant, we're just gonna get rid of the bottom and the leaves. And we're just gonna cook it as a whole. We got the charcoal already. We're gonna dump it out on one side to create two heat zones. We're gonna let it heat and then clean it out. And also oil it with a cooking spray. Now we're gonna place the fish right on the grill over the coals and let it cook three minutes per side. We're also cooking the eggplant and the bell pepper right next to it. It's been about three minutes, but we're gonna turn it for grill marks because it's got nice grill marks already. Okay, and now we're gonna flip it after about one minute. It's been about three minutes and we're gonna look at the other side. And it looks like we can already turn the fish. And we're gonna go ahead and take it off the grill. And these are beautiful marks. And it looks like the eggplant is ready because it's all squishy on all sides and the bell peppers are definitely ready.